on. Yep. So, I mean, you have seen me before. <laughs> so, I won't introduce myself. I will introduce Area 10 Labs today. Uh, we're a company that's actually been around for 13 years. We started in Hawaii 13 years ago. Uh, we do basically R&D and prototype development. We used to say this. We used to say we focus on advancing technologies that fuse humans with intelligent computing and communications and sensors. Now we just say this. We do cool things. Area 10 used to be called Arcanoetics, which is way too hard to say and way too hard to pronounce. So we called it Area 10 because we're both from the neuroscience background. And for those of you who know Broadman areas, then you know Area 10 is a prefrontal area that lights up whenever you see something cool. This gives you an idea. I kind of went through my grants and I just said, dump all the keywords in here and see what happens. And then did this word cloud. And so if you take like any of the words, chances are we've done a project with that and you can combine it with another one and we did that and then you just keep going until you go pass out. We basically do ideas to reality. So if you come to us and you say, hey, I have this need and there, here's my concept of how I can do it, we can help you go from there to a prototype to even a company. We've built 10 companies to date. Um, three companies are large and growing, as they say. We have one in Vancouver and uh, one in San Diego as well. I wanted to give you an idea of the kind of things we do too, the ones I can talk about. So we've done a lot of work for DARPA. This is one of the DARPA projects. This was to take both eye tracking and EEG and be able to identify when somebody saw something of interest, a target, if you will from images. So we did this also for the Department of Homeland Security as well. And the idea was not just to be able to say, oh yeah, he saw something that was interesting, but then take that, extract features from that image, run it through intelligent algorithms, and be able to actually identify those in real time um, just using algorithms. That same thing would also look at the individual and be able to identify when they were fatigued. This is a project we did last year. It's a wearable that we built from scratch. With, we did the design, we did everything all the way to manufacturing. It's now in production. It's basically an accelerometer device like a Fitbit, but it also has the ability to wirelessly download or USB download directly and charge from that. So the key features being, of course, that it doesn't need any other charging device or anything else. It also has a strap that has a context sensitive um, region that will be able to tell when it's on your wrist and when it's off your wrist. So any questions 